Here we're at the AHR Expo in Las Vegas, and there's so much cool stuff to see here, and there's so many vendors. And Chris, he's a very busy man, but he took the time out to be able to talk to us, to talk to the viewers about what he does. And Chris, what is it that you do? All right, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. I am a lead key account manager with Grunfoss. We make many different pumps, from small circulators to large end suction, to for large HVAC systems, to sewage systems, circulators, really just a large breadth of pumps for HVAC and domestic uh, plumbing. Yeah. Now, what does pumps have to do with HVAC? Yeah, so every HVAC system needs somehow to move water. We have to get water from point A to point B, whether it's from a chiller, from a boiler, to air handlers. We have to distribute that through the building. And the pumps, all they do is they put energy into that water. They move it from point A to point B. So there are people that specialize in just these kinds of systems? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, training on tools that we have. We specialize in the pumps, entire systems, design. There's really a lot to the pumps and to designing it and to getting it to work properly because the last thing you want is to put a system in that's not designed properly and working the way you want it. So we think about pumps as being just simply a motor and something that's pushing liquid, but there's so much more to it. The weight, how much liquid it is, what volume of the temperature you're working with. All of these factors play in. So the engineers take all this math and all this science and they have to calculate this and then also have to figure longevity and replacements. What is it about your pumps that makes you stand out from your competitors? So we are based out of Denmark. So we are, in Denmark, they're much more energy conscious than we have been in the U.S. That's starting to come over to the U.S. We're seeing a lot more of that. But we tend to be on the forefront of that. So we do a lot of integrated drives, variable frequency drives, uh, which makes things more efficient where we can ramp down the speed and operate those better. Uh, we do uh, make it a very simple and turnkey. So instead of having to do a lot of programming on site, a lot of sequence of operations, making make complex controls, we put all those controls in there, very simple, nice clean uh, color screens, very easy to navigate, quick and easy startup, easy troubleshooting when that time comes, easy maintenance. Maintenance is something that we often overlook because we think, no, I just got to get this installed. <laughs> but these are going to be in for 10, 20, I've seen some for 30 years. And so somebody has to come back and maintain them. So we like to make sure that they're easy to maintain and uh, can be done cost efficiently. Awesome. I remember in my day, it was just simply a motor and a big giant switch. And now there's so much technology that goes into it. You talked about inverter and variable speed systems. You can control the speed of that pump. It's just amazing how much goes in here. So if you love technology, you're thinking about, hey, it's just pumping water, but there's a ton of technology and information that goes into that. So talking about careers, uh, you guys having a shortage in, in technicians and people that work oh, on this? absolutely. So we have multiple factories in the United States, across the world, actually, but in the United States, you know, getting people to be on the, on the shop floor to do the installation, even sales, filling sales positions, there's marketing positions, almost probably every department within Grunfoss right now, from turning wrenches to, like I said, marketing and management, there's positions that are available. There is definitely a shortage. And I always encourage people, look at the trades. Uh, there's so much opportunity that is just out there for the picking. People, there is no way we can go on with this world without people doing a lot of these tasks and these jobs. When the plumbing doesn't work, when the HVC doesn't work, when you don't have water, Life comes to a stop pretty quick. That's right, exactly right. A lot of people are coming into the trades. What advice do you have for somebody that's coming into the trades, getting started? Yeah, uh, great question. I, get, I actually get this a lot. I always tell people, gather those opportunities. Um, there's trade shows, there's local organizations like ASHRAE, like we're at here. Um, there's so many opportunities and a lot of really great free opportunities that you can go and talk to people, network, get to know people, even people that you may not think, well, this isn't gonna help me advance my career. You just never know how you can maybe connect somebody to somebody else and just help out somebody else, help the world make, you know, make things go better for everybody. Just gather those opportunities. Just never pass anything up. Just always be looking, saying, yes, I want to learn more about that. Even if it's not even your wheelhouse, even if it's something completely different, you just never know where it's going to take you. And you got to keep life flowing. Yes. Keep it pumping. Keep it pumping. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, if they want to find out more about your company or more from you, how can they get in contact with you or yeah. your company? Yeah, go to grunfoss.com. We have lots of great information on there, courses and tools that to help you learn, kind of pump 101 type training that will really help you to get a good understanding of, of How much does that cost for that information? That's about? free. Free. Free, like free more information. More opportunities, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So even if you're not interested in pump, take those courses, learn about that kind of stuff. I love it when companies want to share information and share knowledge. We're going to put a link in the video below. So if all of you technicians out there and people interested in HVAC want to learn more, it's right there in the link below. And I really appreciate hey, your time so much. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it.